Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your last weekly reading for 2022. This is for uh, December 26th and January 1st. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get really specific. Now, the reason I do this, Taurus, is because I love you. I want you to feel like this is a personal reading rather than a general spread. And as we know, astrology came before tarot that's why every tarot card is assigned an astrological element a ruling planet i mean we go really deep we get really specific now taurus i am very excited for you all right this week especially listen taurus first of all jupiter went into aries that's your 12th house that's your subconscious we're really gonna guts you're going deep you're gonna unroot some things that you don't need moving forward all right now the other thing is there are a bundle of planets in Capricorn okay Venus Mercury the Sun and we just came out of that new moon in Capricorn new beginnings it was a super new moon all right big new beginnings now this is in your ninth house okay so Taurus I'm jealous a lot of y'all are probably planning long distance trips y'all are gonna go on long distance trips um, you're probably uh, some of y'all will probably work with people overseas okay the main thing higher education a lot of learning okay so as you unroot these things that you don't need in your life in your mind in your subconscious you're bringing in all this new knowledge and even spiritual it's uh, the house of spirituality too so there's gonna be I know that's a strong word so, but just think of aligning mind body soul at this point right this is absolutely fantastic and the last good news for you there's a lot of activity with venus this week okay uh venus is uh, is gonna do a sec listen if if you're new to my channel i do leave the key astrological dates that you can follow along but you'll see venus is very active venus is your ruling planet go out have fun long hair don't care Go have fun. Be social. All right. This is a great week to do that. Now, Mercury is going to go retrograde. All right. On the 28th. But I listen, we're going to feel more of that in January. I don't want you to worry about this week. Um, just know things could go a little like uh, maybe plans change at the last minute and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and get started. I, again, love the fact that Venus is really active this week. Um, and I love where we're going with all these astrological places. But let's go ahead and get started with your reading, your last reading for 2022. Okay, Taurus. And let's see what's going on. Uh, what's in store for you this week? The energies for this week for Taurus, Sun and Rising. The last thing I do want to say is this new moon that we just came out of, the super new moon, it is, uh, it, it was really big. And we kicked off 2022 with the very big super new moon. So we've come full circle. Taurus, I want you to be very proud of everything you've accomplished, all the things that you've, you know, that have come into your life this year. I want you to have those moments. And listen, you are going to, you are, uh, listen, just have fun. Venus is a planet of, you know, uh, everything that we desire, right? Money, love, uh, beauty. I mean, it's, 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 so active and it is a really planet so i want you to just have fun this week okay now looking at your spread it is going to be a pretty big week and you've got a big decision to make all right this is going to be a week of a big decision for you all right and you know this is good remember i said we're enrooting a lot of those things in our head that we just don't need moving forward with this new beginning this new wave into this new era let's get started you got the seven of cups now listen this came up in your past there could have you could have had a lot of different options okay you could have had a lot of different options come through now listen um one thing that i want you to know as we move forward if they have not come in through for you yet there are going to be options and this does relate to uh you know this is pretty general like you can see all the cups are they're all very different right one there's beauty in one but there's a snake in the other there's you know there's success in the other so where does that relate to you you think about that Taurus all these options whether it was your career whether it was home whether it was relationships I want you to know that with these options you've come to this point where you got the lovers in the heart of your spread now listen 
For some Taurus, this is going to be career related. All right. That's a big energy coming through. Now, uh, one thing that I want you to know, this is sure love, right? This is a good, this it's the lovers, right? Think about six. Okay. The, it's harmony that the, the heart of, of, of the tree of life, but six is, you know, I, there's always someone involved, you know, the six is there's someone involved. Okay. The, the, the six is the, the card and tarot where it's not just one person. There's, there's several people. Okay. Now with this card, especially you can see Archangel Raphael. He's the one that's gifting the love. All right. Now here's another thing I want you to pay attention to. It's up to you. Let's just call them Adam and Eve here. All right. Up to you, Adam and Eve, decide what to do with that love. Now, here's the other thing is that you see Adam's looking at Eve. Eve is looking at the archangel, all right? So, this is subconscious, super conscious, unconscious. I mean, this is, listen, this is very, very you, okay? This is, uh, think about Trinity at play here, but this is all you, the decisions you want, the decision you need to make, the decision that you're going to have to make, trusting your instincts, trusting down to your soul. What's the next step for some Taurus? Again, I said it's going to be uh, a career related. Uh, it's going to have to do something with money. Um, but a lot of Taurus is sure relationships. Okay. Not only relationships romantically. All right. Whether it's, you know, you've been dating a couple different people and now you're choosing the one to move forward with, or, you know, maybe there you're in a relationship and you're deciding, I don't think this is right for us. Right now, when I say money and career, uh, listen, this card is ruled by Gemini. Mars is in Gemini. However, Mars is retrograde in Gemini, and that is your second house of money, okay? Now, what's also interesting is the fact that the second house also rules values, okay? And so with this, with all this Venus activity going on, all right, uh, listen, this is it's something that's it, it, it's going to be important for you and significant for you moving forward in terms of how you see value for yourself a lot of self-value and then the values that you have for the things that are in your world the things that you have gratitude for and you appreciate all right so that said listen this week you will have to possibly make a, a pretty big decision all right but just trust your instincts, okay? Remember, I said it's Trinity at play here. All right, now listen, you were, Page of Pentacles came in your challenge area, all right? This is someone who loves to learn, loves to, this is very you. This is er very earthbound. The page is earth, okay? Pentacles are earth, right? Page in the royal court, kicking off new beginnings really wanting to 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 take this pedicle and grow it maximize monetize right but also remember pentacles are earthbound okay like i said and you're you're an earth sign this resonates a, a real a lot with you okay now with this coming in your challenge area there could be a part of you where you're not really learning things right now okay the things the important things let's it, it, it's the things that you want spend time learning uh, uh how it's going to enrich your life okay take that knowledge take it and really let it grow really let it blossom all right especially with this option that you have this choice that you have and again remember i said the messages coming through is a lot for a lot of tourists it is going to have to do with money which links to your job and career too okay and so be open to the opportunities be open to opportunities and make that decision to go with that opportunity that you want to learn and grow in all right and so even if you are a seasoned pro in your profession you can keep going you know that right i'm not saying you have to drop everything and start something new you can keep growing you can get a new job title you can get you know a, a promotion there don't be open to it and seek it out that knowledge right that learn he's so committed look at him so compelled by that pentacle all right i want that to be you i want that to be you how can you enrich your life a little more now listen you did get the ten of swords all right in your crown now i know this card looks uh, like that right especially because it's dark you know it's dark sky and this poor man is impaled i mean is he dead who knows he's definitely again not he's he's not dancing at, at 
you know, some beach club in, in Ibiza. He is definitely not in a good place. However, this coming up in your crown, I love this, okay, because 10 is the end of the suit. Now, what people don't know is that this dark sky, this is dawn. It's clearing for the sun to come out. 10 is the end of the suit, okay? And so, you are hoping for some things to come to an end, okay? This is why you have this decision to make, all right? And that's what's going to bring this. Look at his hand. His hand his hand gesture is in the, the, the same hand gesture as the Hierophant, which, hello, coincidentally, is ruled by Taurus, okay? And so... This is going to be a big week and the decision you make, really kicking off a new cycle. Remember I said 10 is the end, when zero equals one, new beginning. We're moving into a new era. A lot of this, you know, everyone, this is your, this is all you. This is all you, all right? Now, you did get the eight of wands in the root of your spread. So two things here, for some Taurus, um, there's things have, have been moving fast. Okay, things have been moving fast. That's why maybe some of this decision is uh, it's 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 almost like, oh, gosh, I got to make a decision now. Um, the other thing is and that's and listen, if that is the case for you, Taurus, go at your comfort level. Okay, go at your comfort level. All right. This is remember you I just own this right now. The other thing is things are going to start moving fast for you. All right, Taurus, things are going to move pretty pretty fast all right listen there's a lot of enthusiasm and eagerness and, and and you know this is a great card all right this is a wonderful card and uh speaking of travel yes i mentioned travel earlier that some y'all are going to travel this is a card of travel so uh that is going to be something for a lot of y'all and it could be something that has to do with you know work and it can have uh have to do with you know a relationship that you're in or whatever but just think that there is some travel energy in your spread okay and you're reading this week all right now in your future you got the eight of swords all right now i don't need to freak out this is the self victim we call it the self victim card right do you see that she's blindfolded do she see that she's bound um we listen she thinks that she's built this fortress with these swords. She's protected, nothing can hurt her. However, in reality, she built a prison, okay? Prisoner of her thoughts, the swords are the mental suit, okay? So, all this means is there is going to be a point where in the near future, you may feel a little fearful, okay? You're a little bit like, Ooh, did I make the right decision? Uh, how is this going to affect this? Uh, what is my future going to be like? Don't worry about it, okay? Trust yourself, okay? Trust in the universe, okay? You're in a good place. You'll be fine, okay? I, I don't want you to worry. You can see her feet. They're loose. You can get out of this, all right? This is, remember we say it's a self-victim card. It, nobody put her there. She put herself there. And this is you so much happen it's almost like psychological warfare just so much especially with all this speedy movement with the decision you have to make with this rebirth energy there's a lot happening this week as i said it's a significant week for you don't you don't have to be here okay just know that if things get a little overwhelming up here take that time to really just uh, make that connection, all right? That balance that you need to move forward and to be able to see the future and be comfortable with it, to be able to see the path that you want for yourself and be comfortable with it, okay? You do not have to be in the situation. Mm, look, you're fine, okay? Don't, so just don't. This is a card of celebration. This is a card of bonding. This is a card of sisterhood, brotherhood, joy. This is the three of cups growth advancement but also creation right birth of new things remember we're going through that birth rebirth energy that you want okay you want this new uh transformation now listen three of cups uh uh clarifying the eight of swords 
you've got this, okay? As long as you just get out of that headspace where it's just, listen, and I'm not, yeah, it's, 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 it's fine if you're in it, okay? But when you're in your headspace, especially when Jupiter's in your 12th house, when you're going deep in your subconscious to unroot those things that are holding you back or that, you know, maybe there's just some patterns you want to just stop doing or, you know, as we enter the new year, uh, we think about these things. We have these big questions, but of course, after this decision you have to make, sometimes these big decisions, we just, you know, get in our head and you can, that's fine. Absolutely fine. As long as you learn from something, learn from what you're going through and, and, and grow from it, right? You will be fine. But again, remember, you don't have to be here. We call it the self. She's, she put herself here. Okay. Now, three of cups. All right. You'll be fine. That's in your future. That's celebration. That's joy. Remember, that's bonding with your friends. I told you, spend be social this week. Okay. Venus is very active. Venus is sex selling Neptune on the 28th of, of a conjuncting Pluto on New Year's Eve. Don't, I, I don't want you to be, I spend all that time like up here, okay? Now, let's get to your staff. Taurus, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe. Um, leave, I love, I love your comments, by the way. So, be great if you leave comments. If you're not a commenter, emo I love emojis. If you're a subscriber, you know that I love emojis. And if you're a subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me every week. This is our last week of the year. How crazy is that? All right, so let's get to your stuff. You did get justice, okay? And so I love the fact that you did get justice because, listen, this decision you make, it it will bring this uh, equilibrium, this balance that you're seeking, okay? There is, you know, I don't see a lot of, uh, I don't see a lot of, uh, imbalance here i see more of just this decision that you have to make um but this decision is going to bring that balance all right now the justice card this i mean talk about that look at all that symmetry here okay but also you see the scale which does which does represent um balance <laughs> i mean obviously right and like um and i didn't even have to tell you that did i uh but Here's the thing that I want you to know. If there is some, if, if you if, if you feel like you're you're seeking justice for a certain situation, if you feel like you haven't been treated fairly, or if you feel like there's been something that's just been not been going your way, and you feel like it is not something, it's something like out of your control, and it's something that you did not, it it's bringing this imbalance and unfairness to your life. Listen, as long as you make this decision and then not get into in your headspace, I mean, that is going to bring, and when I say balance, think mind, body, spirit, right? Just think of that internal balance, that equilibrium, all right? Now, another thing is um, there are... Uh, uh, some of y'all there, it's, it's, it's something contracts related, all right? So it's... Um, again that career energy is coming through and um marriage for sure if y'all are in that space uh right now thinking about that all right so just remember this decision is it's going to be a big decision all right i can see that it's going to be a big decision uh but just remember do not you're about you're you're entering this wonderful part of your life okay new chapter new era all right so if you're gonna spend all that time in your head do it in a way where it's positive where you're where you're learning and growing okay and knowing what you have to leave behind and then you can step out all right you can step out um you did get the four of swords by the way in your external factors area and this is great because this card is all about healing all right and remember the swords are the mental suit so your mental health is as well and so you will be fine this is further affirmation okay coming after the three of swords clarifying right this is in your external factors area all right so there definitely is like you do have a huge support system Taurus, you have a huge support system. If you need it, you know, reach out. But this is just having that, you know, stillness of mind. Um, some of y'all may be going on like retreats or uh, like, gosh, that just travel. It could be like, you know, a, remo a remote resort in the middle of the Catskills or wherever. If you're not, 
maybe it's a good idea to plan that just to have some clarity right clarity of mind now listen all you want is success all you want is victory all you want is you know uh some tourists want that recognition that public recognition for all the achievements you've made listen like you will get it you have to just remember trust yourself okay and trust in the order of, of how everything happens like i i i a big message that's coming through is this fear of the future and i don't want you to be afraid okay you're don't don't be afraid of the future know that everything listen when you're afraid of things okay and that's when we get up here all right a lot of it happens at the end of the year for not just for everyone right we all have those big questions we all think about oh my gosh new year's resolutions what do i need to leave behind what do i want to do to improve my life we all ask those big questions all right so i want you to know that you're fine you're good you just can't create that fear all right don't create that don't 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 have that you know what did i say or psychological warfare with yourself you'll be fine all right um when you create fear that's you're creating blockages and you don't need that look you you're fine okay further affirmation you got the queen of swords in your final outcome all right this is that clarity you need this is listen the queen of swords she leads with her head she leads with her head okay not her heart that's why you know i call her the ice queen all right but she's sitting in that throne because she has so much power so much authority she uses that sword to cut all the bs that she does not need that has been the theme of your reading that is what i've been saying from the beginning get rid of the things go deep unroof those things that you don't need make that big decision okay it could be relating to that decision now what's really interesting is the queen of swords very similar to the justice card the same thing using that sword to cut all those things you don't need to bring that balance in your life so taurus you're fine you're good uh you're but you are gonna make a big decision all right it's gonna come you're and uh, uh just don't be afraid all right trust in yourself okay trust in yourself and you will be fine like look at your spread all right this is your it's even though you did get the eight of swords in your future we i say it all the time we are human beings there's a reason why we're not robots okay we're meant to feel we're meant to have these moments okay it's just how you approach these moments and how you experience these moments and like i said earlier learning from them growing from them okay be conquering them all right anything that you need to conquer and makes you stronger okay so taurus with that said you're good i'm excited for you so taurus happy happy new year happy holidays i love you so much ah uh, this is our last reading of the year 2023 i get very excited remember if you haven't seen uh at any you know my last week or even like the year in review i did for you your best year 2023 your best year out of all the signs next year the best year you've had since 2011 get excited Taurus I love you so much thanks so much for being here again if you're new to my channel it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments it really does help my channel grow and then if you are a subscriber you know I love you so much thank you so much for being here with me every week I will see you next week I'll see you in the new year happy new year bye bye